Hello friends, this is Nurmal here for Technique and in this video we will do an FAQ on the Honor 9i. So the Honor 9i is the latest smartphone under uh, the sub 20k price point and it comes with an 18 to 9 aspect ratio. It's a full view uh, display. So there are a couple of interesting aspects for this phone. One is a display, the second being uh, the four cameras available on this device. So it has dual camera on the rear as well as on the front panel. So in this video, we'll talk about some of the aspects of the phone. We'll uh, try to answer uh, a lot of questions we are getting on this device. So first, let's uh, look at uh, the sensors available on this device. So you can see that uh, this device comes with almost all sensors, including accelerometer, orientation, magnetic sensor, proximity sensor. But one of the sensors which is missing on this device is the gyroscope. So this does not come with uh, the gyroscope uh, sensor. So that's one of the sensors which is missing on this device. Apart from that, there is also no support for NFC and uh, there is also no IR blaster included on this device. Next up, let's talk about the display. So that's one of the important aspects uh, which uh, is an 18 is 9 aspect ratio display. You can see it's a 5.99 inch uh, display and the resolution is 2160 by uh, 1080 p That's a full HD plus resolution. And you can see it's uh, it's almost like a full view display, uh, very less uh, bezels and it actually feels quite good. Now the display brightness is one thing what we didn't like uh, that much. The display brightness levels are not really adequate even if you uh, uh, increase the brightness to the maximum the display brightness seems slightly lower side uh, when you are especially when you're using outdoors now other than that uh, you can see that it comes with a 2.5d glass uh, uh, that is supported on the display and you can see huawei has uh, pre-installed a screen guard on this device so there is no cooling gorilla glass support or any other added protection available on the dis display so uh, they have uh, pre-installed a screen guard very similar to the honor 6x Next step, uh, talking about the SIM cards, you can see this uh, device comes with a dual SIM cards. It's an hybrid SIM card. So you can use uh, one SIM card and an SD card or uh, two SIM cards. And uh, this device uh, does support a uh, Volte out of the box and uh, you get uh, uh, the Geo SIM card Volte support on this device. Now talking about the storage being offered, so this device comes in only one variant. So it comes with 4GB RAM and 64GB storage option. So you get plenty of storage, you get close to 54GB uh, uh, storage out of the box and uh, you can also expand the storage as I said before but uh, at the cost of one SIM card. Next talking about the fingerprint scanner, so the fingerprint scanner is located on the rear panel and it does a decent job altogether. So you can uh, see that we'll just uh, show you a quick uh, demo. So it's quite fast a fingerprint scanner. It's not the fastest out there, but it is quite responsive and does the job pretty well. Now next up, let's talk about the processor. So it comes with this, uh, the Kirin uh, 659 octa-core chipset, which is uh, coupled with 4GB RAM. And uh, we have the EMUI uh, version 5.1 on this UI. So let's just uh, see the uh, EMUI version. You can see that the EMUI 5.1 and Android version is Android 7.0. And... Uh, you get uh, to see 4GB RAM and the display uh, resolution is 1080 by 2160 resolution. So that's the software and the processor. Now the the device is quite responsive to day-to-day -day task. Uh, you didn't, we did not see any sort of lag in day-to-day -day experience and it was quite responsive and really fast. And the multitasking and the RAM management was really good on EMUI. But one thing what we didn't like about the device is the gaming performance. It is kind of laggy and since this is a new processor, it's not really optimized and that's the reason for uh, a kind of laggy experience in gaming. Next up, talking about the battery. So this phone comes with 3340 mAh battery and the charging time was around 2.5 hours. We have also done a detailed video on that and the screen on time what we got on this device was around 5 hours and 15 minutes. So that's the maximum we got. So the battery performance is kind of average, not a stellar performer, but not bad either. Now next up the speaker performance, so the speaker is located on the bottom panel and the speaker does a decent job altogether, it's not a very loud speaker uh, like some of the other devices but it does a decent job, so if you are a person uh, who loves uh, listening to a lot of music, this is not the best speaker out there in this price segment. So another question we got was whether this device has an LED notification light and you can see that this is the LED notification light on top of the display, so it does come with support for LED notification. Next step, let's have a look at the USB OTG support. So this device uh, does come with OTG out of the box. So once you connect your pen drives or other computer peripherals, you can see that uh, it is detected. So USB is officially supported on the Honor 9i. 
Now talking about the cameras, it has a dual camera system on the rear panel. It's a 16 and 2 megapixel camera and with f-stop 2.2 LED flash. It's a single LED flash and on the front panel, we have a 13 and 2 megapixel camera combination along with an LED flash as well. So we also done a detailed camera review of this device. So you can also check out that video to get an idea about how good the camera experience is. So the camera interface is definitely good and uh, uh, you can have a look at the camera samples uploaded by us in the camera review. And now finally the pricing, the device is priced 17 triple nine and available exclusively on Flipkart starting uh, 14th of October. That's the day the device will go on sale on Flipkart and uh, the pricing is 17 triple nine. So this device uh, uh, will be posting the detailed review of the device as well. So stay tuned for that. So we also done a camera review, gaming performances and a lot of other videos as well. So do check out our channel and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching and if you still have any questions on this device, uh, do post a comment. We'll be glad to help you out with your questions. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.